Roman emperors were the designated rulers of the empire which started after the end of the Roman Republic. The legitimacy of an emperor's rule was dependent upon his control of the army and recognition by the Senate. An emperor would normally be proclaimed by his troops, invested with imperial titles by the Senate or both, but the Roman people regarded their emperors as the equivalent of kings. Today we will learn about the nine greatest Roman emperors in order of, of significance. Most people would expect to see the famous Julius Caesar on this list, but he was not an actual emperor. Instead, you will learn about the great men of Rome that were instrumental in building perhaps the most powerful civilization in all of history. Number 9. Tiberius Emperor from 14 to 37 AD, Tiberius Claudius Nero was the son of Livia Drusilla, who later married Augustus in 39 BC, which made him Augustus's stepson. He was later adopted by Augustus as his official heir. Some may be surprised to actually see Tiberius on this list because many historians portray him as cruel, selfish, and depraved. But in reality, Tiberius was one of Rome's greatest generals as he conquered Pannonia, Dalmatia, Raetia, and parts of Germania, which laid the foundations for the northern frontier. Tiberius also left the imperial treasury with nearly three billion sesterces upon his death. Instead of taking on expensive conquests, he decided to build additional bases and use diplomacy over conflict. All these actions actually made Rome a stronger and more consolidated empire. It is hard to ignore these facts in spite of his negative image. Number 8. Constantine the Great Constantine became the first Christian Roman Emperor in history and was a ruler of major historical importance. He unified a divided empire under one emperor and gained critical victories against some fierce enemies like the Franks, the Alemanni, the Goths, and the Sarmatians. He also gained back many of Rome's long-lost provinces. Constantine created his own capital and named it after himself, Constantinople, which would eventually become the capital of the Byzantine Empire for many centuries. This is why he is also recognized as the founder of Byzantine. He understood the need to support Christians as Christianity was on the rise and he eventually became an important historical Christian figure, being the first Roman emperor to adopt the faith. Number 7. Antonius Pius The adopted son and successor of Emperor Hadrian, Antonius Pius, ruled the Roman Empire from 138 to 161 AD. His first act as emperor was to grant honors to his adoptive father, Hadrian. Antonius has been known as one of the most peaceful rulers in the entire history of the Roman Empire, as there are virtually no records of any military action during his reign. Instead, Rome saw a huge influx of the arts and other cultural accomplishments as many theaters, temples, and mausoleums were built. He also promoted Roman arts and science, and bestowed honors and financial rewards upon those who taught rhetoric and philosophy. Antonius was very unique among Roman emperors as he dealt with crises without even leaving Italy. This style of government has been highly praised by his contemporaries in later generations. Number 6. Claudius Claudius was one of the first Roman emperors to have been born outside of Italy, and his reign lasted from 41 to 54 AD. He was the son of Drusus and Antonia Minor, and because he was afflicted by a limp and slight deafness, he was unfairly ostracized by his family and excluded from public office for much of his life. As it turns out, because of his perceived deformities, he was seen as no threat by those seeking power. This allowed him to survive many turbulent times, but the fact was that Claudius was very intelligent and well-read. While his rule was seen 
to be vulnerable by nobility in the Senate as they opposed his ascension to the throne, the military disagreed and strongly supported him. In the end, Claudius proved to be a very able and efficient administrator. He was also an ambitious builder. He constructed many new roads, aqueducts, and canals across the empire. His significant achievement was increasing the size of the empire by conquering Britain. Number 5. Marcus Aurelius Considered to be one of the wisest emperors of all time, Marcus Aurelius ruled the Roman Empire from the year 161 to 180 AD. During his reign, the empire defeated a revitalized Parthian Empire in the east, and in Central Europe he triumphed over the Marcani, the Quadi, the Sarmatians, and the Marcanic Wars. In addition, a potential revolt in the east that was led by Ovidius Cassius was suppressed by Marcus Aurelius before it caused serious problems. A remarkable philosopher and writer, Marcus Aurelius Stoic Tome Meditations written in Greek while on campaign between 170 and 180 AD is still considered a literary monument to the philosophy of service and duty as it describes how to find and preserve tranquility in the midst of conflict by following nature as a source of guidance and inspiration. Because of this, Marcus Aurelius acquired the reputation of a philosopher king. Number 4. Hadrian Serving as emperor from 117 to 138 AD, Hadrian was one of the few emperors to visit almost every province under his rule, which allowed him to connect to the people. A known admirer of Greece, Hadrian sought to restore Greek architecture back to its former glory. He rebuilt the Pantheon and constructed the Temple of Venus in Roma. And of course, he also built the famous Hadrian's Wall that he is noted for, which marked the northern limit of Roman Britain. Hadrian spent most of his reign with the military as he wore military attire and even dined and slept among his soldiers. He was known for maintaining an alert and a very responsive military as he constantly challenged them with false alarms to test their level of training and how they responded to crisis. The lone major military conflict during his reign was the Second Roman-Jewish War, which he handled rather cunningly. Number 3. Vespasian One of the more famous Roman emperors, the reign of Vespasian lasted from 69 to 79 AD. He founded the Flavian dynasty that ruled the Roman Empire for a total of 27 years. His rule began during one of the darkest times in all of Roman history as Rome was still recovering from the cruelty of Nero which was followed by a bloody civil war that saw four different emperors in one year. Vespasian was a down-to-earth man and an excellent general who had proved himself many times over on the battlefield. Now he was facing the task of bringing peace and balance to Rome, and in just ten years he accomplished that goal and became one of the greatest Roman emperors in history. During Vespasian's reign, a lot of money was devoted to needed projects like public works and the restoration of Rome. He started construction on the Temple of Peace, a number of public baths, and the infamous Colosseum, which became an icon of ancient Rome. Unfortunately, Vespasian passed away before the Colosseum was completed. Number 2. Trajan Considered to be Rome's best ruler by many historians, Trajan ruled ancient Rome from 98 AD to 117 AD. It was under his rule that the Roman Empire reached its peak. He is remembered as a very successful soldier emperor who presided over the greatest military expansion in all of Roman history. Trajan added gold-rich Dacia, as well as parts of Romania, Moldova, Bulgaria, Serbia, Hungary, and Ukraine to the empire. He also subdued and conquered the Parthian Empire and marched through Armenia to extend Rome's reach to the Persian Gulf. At home he built well, 
employing the talented Apollodorus of Damascus as his architect. A column recorded his victory in Dacia, while a form and market in his name improved the capital. Elsewhere, spectacular bridges, roads, and canals improved military communications. He was loved and respected by the common people, the Senate, and the military alike because of a philanthropic rule that saw extensive public building programs and welfare policies. And number one is Augustus. The greatest Roman emperor of all time is very obvious as he was the founder of the Roman Empire himself, Augustus. He also had the longest reign of any empire, which was 41 years, from the year 27 BC to 14 AD. Born under the name Octavian, he was given the name Augustus by the Senate as an honor for his great achievements. He went on to avenge the death of Caesar together with Mark Antony before having a falling out with him. And then together with the Roman Senate, he created a new constitution for this great new empire. The reign of Augustus ushered in an era of relative peace that is known as Pax Romana. While there were wars taking place in the Roman frontiers in the name of expansion and even a year-long civil war taking place, it all ceased after Augustus took the throne as the Roman world was free of any large-scale warfare for more than two centuries. Augustus was a very intelligent and wise ruler who built many roads, aqueducts, and buildings. Not only was Augustus the first, but he was most certainly one of the best emperors Rome has ever had. And the duration of this successful reign was unheard of in those ancient times. <laughs>